outbound outbound powered flyby of Orion now scheduled for 53 minutes and 30 seconds from now. Orion is already in the moon's sphere of influence. Now five hours, five days, five hours since Orion's liftoff aboard the space launch system from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Orion is traveling at 1,248 miles per hour and is only 2,600 miles away from the moon at this time. Again, upon closest approach, Orion will be about 80 miles off of the surface of the moon. Now, we will be in that anticipated and expected loss of signal during that closest approach. However, we do expect to regain signal with Orion just about two minutes after the closest approach, where we will regain communications with the vehicle. In total, there are 33 engines aboard Orion. And here on your screen, you are getting a quick glimpse of planet Earth. And here you are looking at a live view of the Orion spacecraft from the solar array wing with the moon in the distance of the screen, the Earth in the distant frame of the screen, and the moon up close. Again, we are now less than 2,000 miles away from the moon, but over 200,000 miles away from planet Earth. Following this, Orion will remain in the distant retrograde orbit for one long elliptical around the moon, which will last about six days. Now, this is different than what was done during the Apollo program when the spacecraft orbited much closer to the moon. Now, this orbit is called distant due to the high altitude from the moon. It's about 40,000 miles past the moon in its orbit. This is actually 30,000 miles farther than the previous record set during Apollo 13 and will be the farthest in space any spacecraft built for humans will have ever flown. This orbit is called retrograde because Orion will travel around the moon opposite the direction the moon travels around Earth. To get live views here for the next minute or so, we will potentially see the Earth start to go just behind the moon as Orion travels behind the moon. We will not have Earth views, of course, because the moon will be blocking the Orion spacecraft. However, we do anticipate an acquisition of signal at 6.59 a.m. Central. It's about a 34 minute loss of signal, at which point we hope to regain communications with the spacecraft. Five seconds away from our anticipated loss of signal. And we do have loss of signal. Again, this is a 33 34 minute, four second loss of signal.